Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the GoPro Hero 8 Black. And I'm gonna give you five reasons why I think the GoPro Hero 8 Black is one of the best travel vlogging cameras you can buy for under 300 pounds on the market now. So without further ado guys, let's jump straight into those five reasons. Now GoPro has released a new version of the Hero 8, the Hero 9. I personally have got no reason to upgrade at the moment. Um, the Hero, I'm quite happy with the Hero 8. I've used this a lot um, and it does exactly what I wanted to do. You know, shooting a 4K at 24 frames per second. Um, I can shoot slow mode as well at higher frame rates. So um, for the time being, it ticks the boxes for what I wanted to do. So straight to my first reason for the GoPro Hero 8 being the best travel vlogging camera you can buy for under 300 pounds. Reason number one, the size. It's small and you can just slip it into your pocket, you know, when you go out and you try and film, you don't want to be carrying around a big camera. I've currently got the A6500 with the Sigma 60 millimeter F1.4. That's a quite a big kit. And you know, you, if you got that on a tripod, and you're walking around or even on a handheld vlogging um, pole and you're walking around with it it's quite heavy and if you're taking around for a long period of time you know it's just not convenient um, with this on the other hand i use this to film my dubai vlog so a lot of the time i was just filming handheld like this and you know i've got the telescopic pole that i was using you know sometimes as well for selfie vlogging um, but a lot of the time like 80% of the time I was just literally holding the camera in my hand like this and slipping it into my pocket and just pulling it out and filming and then you know switching it off and putting it back into my pocket and this is what I find really really convenient about the GoPro Hero 8. A lot of the time you know people feel a bit uncomfortable if you're pointing a big camera like the A6500 around with big lens you know you draw a lot of attention and certain places is okay it's not a problem and other places like dubai um you know you get funny looks and people will tell you you know can you put that camera away so with this on the other hand um, i had no issues with it it just did the job and i was happy with the outcome now onto my second reason the cinematics you can achieve cinematics with any camera um, but with the GoPro Hero 8 and a gimbal, I've got the Zion Crane M2 gimbal. And um, you can get some really cool shots um, because it's compact. Um, you can slip both into your pocket. The gimbal itself is not that big. I'm gonna put that together and show you guys later on. Um, but it just makes it so much easier for you to be able to slip it on, slip it off, um, and be able to just capture some really cool cinematic shots. Um, with the Zion Crane M2, the reason I'm mentioning that is because it's quite small, it's quite portable, and you know you can get some really cool, um, cool functions on that gimbal as well. So cinematics with the gimbal is my second reason for um, for choosing the GoPro Hero 8 um, as well. Now reason number three is how adaptive it is to shoot in almost any location or any environment, uh, no matter what the weather is. You don't have to worry about condensation. Um, whilst with my A6500 and the Sigma lens, you know, if I'm in the hotel room that is, you know, the aircon is on and it's cool. If you open the door and take your camera outside, you get condensation on the lens. You have to wait for a few minutes for the lens to adjust for the condensation to clear. However, with this, you don't have to worry about condensation. Um, it's waterproof. It does everything that actually camera does even if you don't need it for action shots you still got that you know you still got that function and features that you will need when the occasion does uh, present itself so um, being portable and having the action cam features is um, another reason why I think you know this um, should be up there with one of the best travel vlogging cams now reason number four the GoPro app now the GoPro app is quite incredible um, I find it so useful so all the clips and images you shoot on the GoPro can instantly be available on on your phone because the app automatically syncs with the GoPro so everything you're taking is available in the cloud instantly and you can just download it to your phone um, and then edit it and post it to your you know share it on your social media platforms and you know wherever you want to you want to share those images and clips so uh, the GoPro app makes it so much convenient for you to be able to use this um, on the go so now that leads us to our final reason reason number five GoPro quick shot now that's a function on the GoPro um, Hero 8. I'm not quite sure whether that function is available on Hero 9. Um, I haven't looked into it, but I'm 
pretty sure it probably is. Um, quick shot is a function you select in the settings which turns the shutter button into like an instant capture. So you, you can have the GoPro off in your pocket or as you're walking around and you see something you want to capture instantly, you pull out the GoPro and just hit the shutter button. And as long as that function is enabled, you will instantly capture, uh, your video will instantly start recording. I think that function is one of the key reasons why I really do like the GoPro um, Hero 8 as a travel vlogging camera because on the move you, you if you see something you want to capture instantly you don't want to have to start getting your camera around switching it on and making sure you know your lens is in correctly and you know your batteries are in or whatever you know it takes up a lot of time so just pulling this out of your pocket and hitting the shutter button instantly to start recording i think that's uh, that's a really good key feature um of the gopro hero 8 as well okay guys so there you have it my five reasons why you know why i think the gopro hero 8 is one of the best travel vlogging cameras you can buy for under 300 pounds i've had it for about seven months now as i've said i've got no issues with it um, i've got no reason to upgrade to the hero 9 because it does exactly what I wanted to do for the time being. Um, it's no um, pros all the way through. There are some cons as well. I mean, uh, for low lights, it's not really the best of cameras for low lights. Um, GoPro can do something else with their lens, um, you know, and uh, low light um, functions. I haven't seen a significant difference to low light shootings with the Hero 9, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna um, upgrade. But um, those are my five reasons why I think the GoPro Hero 8 is one of the best travel vlogging cameras you can buy in 2021. However, if you've got a GoPro Hero 9 and uh, it's something significantly um, different to the Hero 8 that you think you know, Warrants, um, warrants an upgrade and do drop it in the comments below I'd like to hear your opinion on it now let me just sneak in a point number six third-party accessory and batteries now I've got I've got this um, bundle of, of accessories from Amazon um, by a company called newer and uh, batteries as well uh, third-party batteries now there's enough accessories in here that I would never even get around to using but um, they'll cost a fraction of the price of what the GoPro versions will be. Um, I think for this bundle, I paid about 29 pounds and everything is compatible in here with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Um, the batteries as well comes in a nice funky um, a box, a charging box. Um, it's three in there. The company for this one is called Telesen. It does the job, I mean, it holds its power. I've had it for now um, about six months, no issues with it. So um, third-party batteries is uh, a big plus as well. If you've got any other questions or anything else you want to discuss or I'm not quite sure about, do drop it in the comments below, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till then.